All right, let's graph this linear inequalities. So the first one here, let's do, I guess, in, we'll do this one in blue. X is 2, that's at this point right here. This one's equal to, so we're going to have a solid line. All right, so there's our line X is equal to 2. Well, let's check the point. Again, we're just testing this point 0, 0. Uh, there's only an extra place on this one, so we got zeros less than or equal to 2. That is true. So with this many lines, I'm just going to indicate that I would shade to the left there. So that when I need to shade the actual area, I know, well, where to shade. All right, we'll do this next one in green. So I would have uh, x minus y is greater than or equal to 6. I'll subtract x from both sides. So I got negative y is greater than negative x plus 6. Divide everywhere by negative 1. And that flips the inequality. So y is less than or equal to x minus 6. So that gives me y intercept at negative 6 here. And the slope is a positive 1, so up 1 to the right 1. That gives me all these other points on the graph. Hopefully those line up pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And this one is going to be a solid line because it is also equal to. Next, we'll test the same point, 0, 0. So in the inequality, I have 0 minus 0 is 0. We're saying 0 is greater than or equal to 6. That's false. So we would have to shade the other side of that line. And we can already see that it's going to be in that, at least that small area there. The next line we'll do in red. So y equals 0. y equals 0 is the x-axis right here. But since it's not equal to, it's not a solid line. So I'm going to take that off and give myself, we'll call that a dashed line. Now since this one goes through the origin, we can't test 0, 0. So I could test another point. Like, uh, man, it does, again, it doesn't really matter. Let's try uh, 0, 1. So in that case, y is 1. 1 is greater than 0, so we're going to have to shade above. That one didn't seem to work out either. Ah, so right now we can see that not all three of these will intersect. And that's okay, though, so hold on a second. Let's, let's just pretend that this was a less than. That way it, it would shade beneath on this. So, let me get rid of those lines. That's garbage stuff right there. Those red lines. We're getting rid of those red lines. Uh, and that means that it would, for the red, it would shade down here as well. All right. So that allows us to continue this problem. We'll subtract 6x. We'll do this one in purple. And we got 2y is less than, well, I should put that negative 6x in front. Plus 4 divided by 2 everywhere. Y is less than negative 3x plus 2. So 2 was about right there. And I'd go down 3 to the right one. Down 3 to the right one. Well, that's good. It connects with that line and that point. Well, that's not what I want. All right, then 3 and 1. 3 and 1. There we go. This one also is a dashed line. That's a little sloppy, but it'll work out much better on the computers. <clears throat> now, if I test 0, 0, which I can do, because this line does not go through the origin, I got 0, and 0 is less than 4. That's true. That's why I would shade beneath this one. And we can see if we extended these red lines here that the shaded area would be between these, so it goes up here, down there, and it's shaded everywhere in there. 
Let me highlight that real quick. The yellow would be the shaded area. 